How's it going guys? Welcome to another hacker rank problem and today we're going to be solving compare the triplets. Now let's dive right into the material and let's start by reading the problem. This one's a little bit longer. Let's see. Alice and Bob each created one problem for hacker rank. A, review, a reviewer rates the two challenges awarding points on a scale from 1 to 100 for three categories, problem clarity, originality, and difficulty. So we define the ratings for Alice's challenge to be a AAA A equals A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, and the ratings for Bob's challenge but with Bs. Okay. Uh, your task is to find their comparison points by comparing A of, uh, a of 0 with B of 0, and A of 1 with B of 1, and etc. Uh, here are the rules. Um, if A is greater than B, Alice is awarded one point. If they're equal to each other, they're uh, awarded no points. And if A is less than B, Bob is awarded one point. Sorry, I read that in out of order. Basically, at the end of the problem, you have to return um, how much points Alice made and how many points uh, Bob made. So um, it looks like the input format is just there's only three values for each Alice and Bob. And um, here's a sample input, five, six, seven. So these are Alice's scores, and then six, uh, three, six, ten. That's Bob's scores. And the sample, uh, sample output looks like um, Alice's score is one, and then Bob's score is one. So basically, we're just comparing. Here's an uh, explanation. I'm not going to go through this, but it looks like we just have to compare um, a of zero to b of zero, and and so forth, and then just return the sum of those results um let's let's kind of go over initial thoughts that i might i have to like solve this problem so it looks like for every problem we're given exactly three uh inputs for both alice and bob so it looks like all we need to do is create like two temporary variables such as like um total a for example for alice which could start off as zero and then total b which could be for bob um, we basically create these temporary variables and then we manually check for each a of 0 to b of 0 and see who has 1 and we could simply do that doing an if statement so let's go ahead and try doing that a of 0 if it's greater than b of 0 sorry then we increment total a by 1 else if um, if b of o or a of o is less than b of o, then we increment total b. And to know if they're equal to each other, we don't do anything. So we can essentially, so here is one way to do it, right? And we do this for all the other, all the other guys. So we could say this, essentially like that. Like so. Um, let me do this really quickly. And then you could do that. So basically, I'm just going through every input and I'm doing the comparison manually three times, right? And then we could just return in an array the total A and then the total B. And that should essentially be the result. So let's let's try and let's try to run that. So it looks like that passed. So yeah, we were able to solve this, but the thing is, isn't if you look carefully right here, these are this block of code is pretty much the same as this block of code and this block of code, except for just the inputs. So I want to explain to you guys a principle called drive, and it's one of those principles like in the Ruby on Rails um, family, everyone talks about dry, but dry just means do not repeat yourself. That's the acronym for dry. So. If you look at this code, you're, we're just repeating this if else statement over and over. So when you when you see any time you see uh, a place where you can essentially combine, uh, any time you see a place where you're repeating yourself multiple times, that is usually a hint that you can um, pull that out into a function of its own. So let's try to do that and refactor this code base. So let's say function checker. Because all we're doing is check, uh, checking who's winning or not. And this could be named anything. So let's pass in a value and eight. So uh, value A and B, let's pass in those values. And then let's just kind of take this exact um, function right here. Since this is the business logic 
for this problem like so and then let's just change the values of a and b like so and then um, and then let's delete all of these guys right up here and now we just have one function that is doing the exact same thing uh, that we we're doing three times so obviously this won't work we need to invoke this uh, checker function three times and pass in the values um, like so let's uh, oh sorry let's quickly go through this okay and then now it's much cleaner simpler there's a one function that is reusable the checker function um, and let's go ahead and run that and it looks like all of our uh, test cases have passed so far for the one test case that we have um, and I think that's that's good enough let's go ahead and try to submit it so notice that there is like six test cases and we have been able to solve this challenge completely um, and that's pretty much it for this video oh one thing to note that um, if you guys didn't catch it this function the way I solved it is an impure function because this total ha will change every time you run the checker so I just want to point that out and I want to try to give you guys a challenge to solve this without having an impure function but yeah comment below how you guys did it uh, and that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free to join me on the next challenge Bye.